beautiful witches, Callie Contours here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are ranking makeup brands. That is what we are doing. Um, I have made a little thing right here. So the first one is Impregnate Me. Brands that I love. I want to have little babies. You know the drill. And then we have Love You Baby. Like some hits, but some misses, but mostly hits, you know. And then if it's on sale, you know, items that... And, you know, if it's on sale, I'll pick it up, but I wouldn't pay full price for it. And then we have just lame brands that I think are just plain fucking lame. And then Bonnet with Fire brands that I think should die. They should just discontinue those stuff. They shouldn't exist. So let's get to it. Can we folks just take a moment to adore my makeup? I just love it today. It turned out so well. I put the eyeshadow that is on my lids, I put it on my lips, and it just created such a cool thing. Ah, what is on my tooth? Probably black lipstick. Okay, anyway, so, the first one, Huda Beauty. Huda Beauty, I love you, baby. Um, I really like their cream bronzer, their cream tantor, they call it. And I love the Mercury Retrograde palette, and um, I have one of the, um, the coal. Um, obsessions palette I really like those but I'm just not obsessed with them but I like most of the stuff they come out with next we have Anastasia Beverly Hills and for this I'm gonna say if it's on sale I don't have any of the palettes except for the Novena volume 3 palette the big orange palette um, and then I have a couple of their brow whizzes and but even though Dip Brow, I've started using NYX's Dip Brow instead. I just like NYX's formula better. Um, so I'm not a huge fan of ABH, but you know, if it's on sale, I'll pick it up. Next we have Benefit. And I just think Benefit is fucking lame, okay? I'm not into them. I do have their highlighter in Tickle. And I really like that. It's like a pink champagne highlighter. But that's the only product I have. I think they're really boring, but they're also staple products. Um, and I understand the need for staple products. It's just not my jam. Next, we have NYX. And I love NYX. I really like, like I said, their brow pomade. Um, I like their concealers. I've ne I do not like their eyeshadow, though. I think I've tried it once and just never again. So that's why um, I don't want them to impregnate me. Because I don't love everything they put out. But I love most of the stuff. Next, we have ColourPop. And ColourPop, I do want to have your babies, okay? I do. So, please impregnate me. Um, I'm not a fan of how they're kind of like fast fashion, fast makeup kind of deal. And they put out stuff constantly. You know they do. But I love everything that I bought from them. Their foundation, their concealer. I have so many of their eyeshadow palettes. Um, those super shock blushes and highlighters and shadows. I love everything they have. I just am not a fan of all the things they constantly put out. I can't possibly keep up with that. I don't want all of that. But what I do buy, I love. Next, we have Bayo Minerals. And, you know, I, I think, like, Bayo Minerals was, like, the first makeup my mom bought for me. Because, you know, it's like all natural and stuff like that. Because she's into that. Um, but they're just really fucking boring. Like, so I'm going to say Bonnet with File. Like, real beyond lame. I just born them with File. I don't know who buys from them. Like, it's just, it's boring. They all, their eyeshadow suck too. They're really, really, like, light. Like, um, what's the word? not pigmented you know so i just i don't like them next we have taut and taut i'm gonna say if it's on sale i'm not really ever into the eyeshadow palettes i've never tried one of the eyeshadow palettes but i do like shape tape i'm one of the people who like shape tape yes um but i'm just i don't really have a lot from taut you know it's just so if it's on sale, I might look at it, but I would never really pay full price. I think even Shape Tape, I probably got on sale, you know? Next, we have Melt. And Melt, I I do love you, baby. I love your blushes. My all-time favorite blush is Lynx by them. I put pan in it. I love the cream blushes. 
I have the Beetlejuice collection. I have most of the Beetlejuice collection, and um, I really like it. And the lipstick is very, very dry, so I'm not a huge fan of that. And they have a problem with their shimmel eyeshadow formula sometimes, so not a fan of that. Um, so don't want to have little babies because they just need to work on some character defects, you know what I mean? Yeah. Next we have Smashbox, and I think Smashbox is fucking lame, okay? Like, I decluttered in, in my last video the one of the eyeshadow palettes I'm giving to my sister. It was just so unpigmented and dry and yucky. Uh, the colors didn't show up well. They didn't blend well. Um, I know they have some, like, staple primers that everybody raves about. But overall, like, they are never putting out new stuff. They are just, like, not in the beauty news. They're just kind of lame, you know? Next we have Fenty Beauty. Fenty Beauty. And Fenty Beauty, I love you, baby. <laughs> um, I I haven't tried a lot from them, but I've I've seen a lot of reviews. I do have their um, Ease Drop foundation, and I really like it. It's good. Um, I've I've like swatched the highlighters at Sephora, but I've just never bought them. But they were really good. And oh, I do have one of their cream blushes. I'm wearing it right now. It's the orange one. I don't know what it's called. Let's see. It is called Fugo Flush. So that's what I'm wearing today. Um. So yeah, I I love Fenty. I just personally don't own a lot of it. Next we have Sugar Pill, and Sugar Pill is one of the first brands that I bought for myself when I was in college. Um, I bought, bought the Addicted to Pretty palette, the one with the red, orange, yellow, and purple, and I wore it to my college graduation, and it's just a really fun <laughs> memory, um, but I love Sugar Pill, the lipstick formulas are my favorite, um, the, the liquid lipsticks, I'm not a fan of their bullet lipsticks, I have a couple, they're really dry, I think even drier than melts. Um, but they all, but Trinket by Sugar Pill is my all-time favorite liquid lipstick. I have, like, three of them <laughs> because I can't be without it. And, yeah, I just, I really love Sugar Pill. I, it's funny, I, I figured out about them because of the band Angel Spit. And the girl, Angel Spit consists of a girl and a, and a guy from Australia. And the girl was, like, repping Sugar Pill. And that's how I found out about them. Okay, next. <laughs> I just put this in here for the sake of it. <laughs> Goop. Goop can fucking burn on fire for all I care. It really needs to. Gwyneth Paltrow is a psychotic freak, okay? And I mean that in, in the most kind kind way, okay? Girl, you need help. You need to see a mental health professional. There's nothing wrong with that. There's no shame in that. I see many mental health professionals. Um, but yeah, Goof can just fucking born on fire. Okay, next we have Lime Crime. And Lime Crime, I buy a lot of my Lime Crime from, um, what's it called? TJ Maxx. I only have like two or three items from, from Lime Crime. Uh, one I got, an eyeshadow palette I got in a boxy charm, and a couple blushes and a lip gloss I got from TJ Maxx. So I I like the products, but I just wouldn't buy them full price ever. So yeah, if if it's on sale, I'd pick up some Lime Crime. Next we have Hip Dot, and I think Hip Dot is just too much of a try hard. They try too hard. And their product launches are very interesting. I'll give them that. But I kind of think they're lame. This might be an unpopular opinion. Sorry, not sorry. Um, I'm just not into them. I don't think their quality is that great from the reviews I've seen. So, yeah. Next, we have E.L.F. And E.L.F., I've, I've tried a couple of the palettes. I'm, I'm going to put this in if it's on sale because they're so cheap anyway. But... Um, a lot of products I've tried from them, I'm not a fan. Like, their eyeliner and mascaras suck. I didn't like the little blush highlighter duos. I did like the, um, Mint Mojito, I think it was called, eyeshadow palette. It's, um, 
Actually, I'm giving it to my sister. It's this one. What's it called? Mint Melt Eyeshadow Palette. Yeah, this was pretty good. Um, I just have the uh, BH Cosmetics Pistachio Palette, so I don't need it. That's why I'm giving it to my sister. Um, but yeah, so if it's if Elf's on sale or, you know, cheap enough, I'll, I might try something. But I just don't love all the products. Next, we have Hourglass. And Hourglass, honestly, might be an unpopular opinion, but I love you, baby, Hourglass. Um, they'll, I only have one thing from them, but I've swatched a lot and I've seen a lot of reviews. But I have the Ambient Lighting Palette, um, and it's just such a nice finishing powder on the bronze was nice, and I just love the formula. I love the formula. I really want to get more Hourglass products, but they're so expensive. Um, but yeah, I, I do, I do love Hourglass. <laughs> Next, we have Too Faced, and Too Faced, okay, this is definitely going to be an unpopular opinion, okay? I don't own a single Too Faced item. I've tried them before in the past, and I just think they should be set on file. No offense. Um, I just hate their, you know, their name, first off, Too Faced, how they're kind of, like, sexy but kind of cute, like, pick one or the other. Um... I'm not a fan of the eyeshadow formula, of the highlighter formula. I used to love their melted lipsticks. I had it in Chihuahua. It was my favorite lipstick. Melted Chihuahua, it was called. Uh, that was my favorite lipstick for a while. But I just mm, don't like them, okay? It's just, it's, just, it's just my personal opinion. Don't come at me. I just don't like them, okay? Next, we have NARS. And NARS, I don't buy from anymore because they're not quality free. But if it's on sale, I might be tempted to pick something up from them. I like the lipsticks. I, I like the Orgasm Blush, personally. I have um, right there the NARS Liquid Orgasm Blush that I really like when I want to do like a pink blush look. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't buy from them anymore. But it, it could be tempting because I do like some of the products. Next, we have Wando Beauty, and Wando Beauty should also be set on fire because they just suck. I don't like any of the products I've received from them. They're like a BoxyCharm staple, and I actually canceled my BoxyCharm last month, and I just have Ipsy now. Um, but yeah, I just don't like anything I've tried from them, and they are just like a subscription box kind of brand. Like, who buys them full price? Who? I Nobody I know. Nobody I watch on YouTube. Next, we have Juvia's Place. And Juvia, you... I'm going to have a lot of babies, okay? <laughs> you may also impregnate me, Juvia's Place, because you are just fantastic. Their eyeshadows are fantastic. Their concealer is, like, the whitest, con the palest concealer that I, find, that I have found that isn't stock white. Um... I really want some of the new blush bronze collection, but money's kind of tight right now. And I just I just have loved everything I've tried from Juvia's Place. They are great. Next, we have KVD, whatever you want to call them. I guess we're sticking with the initials, Kindness Vegan Beauty, I think. If, if KVD's on sale, I'll pick something up, probably. I like the lipstick formulas. I do like the new Apple foundation. It doesn't last very long, but it's very pretty initially. Um, and super full coverage, oh my god. But yeah, it's just not a brand that I'm super drawn to anymore. Before the whole KVD catastrophe happened, before being an anti-vaxxer and stuff, before that happened, I really liked the brand. I had several lipsticks. Um, but just... They're just kind of a train wreck now. I don't, and I don't, I don't know how they can fix it. I honestly don't, but they're a train wreck. <laughs> Next, we have, okay, we have four more left, guys. We have Urban Decay, and Urban Decay, I, I, I love. Um, I really like their brow pencils. I haven't tried one of their eyeshadows in years, but, um, Urban Decay, is the first eyeshadow palette I've, I ever bought. It was the Shadow Box palette, which I've since departed, and I only have one shade left on it. But I hit pan, and it was my only palette for a couple, several, a few years at least, before I was really into makeup. Um, 
But yeah, I, I like a lot that Old Decay puts out. I recently got this blush stick that I can't find right now. It's in it's in the shade bang. Oh here it is. It's in the shade bang. Um and I really like it. It's it, it's a nice bright I always love a bright blush. Okay, next we have MAC. And MAC I personally think is lame. Maybe they were cool back in the day, but they just their uh, their collections that they come out with are always so boring. Like you know about the Sims collection, right? Like that was a train wreck. Um, I don't like their new oh what's it called floral panic something like that. Um, it's it's pretty packaging, but just kind of boring all around. And they constantly put out the same lipstick shades, just in different packaging. I guess because of collectors. But Mac's also not quality free, so I don't buy from them. Um, I don't think I own anything from Mac, so yeah. Next we have I Heart Revolution, and this is going to be the last one that I'm going to set on fire. Okay, they can just be set on fire. Um, I hate hate their eyeshadow formula it is awful um i mean it's like some palettes are like hits some palettes are misses i guess from reviews i've seen but what i from what i've tried i do not like them um i i haven't liked anything i've bought from them and, and i've tried a good bit and i've decluttered all of it it's just it's just a cheap brand it's a cheap formula it's just yucky and i don't like how they have like seven different side brands it's ridiculous it's just extra it's very extra and it's unnecessary okay last one guys one more baby for me one more baby can you guess who it's going to be can you guess kaleidos kaleidos you may impregnate me you have my permission baby um i love everything i've tried from kaleidos so eyeshadow formula both mattes and shimmers and duochromes and multichromes are amazing the highlighters are amazing the one thing i don't like is the lip tonic it's like a liquid lipstick, but it's very sheer. It's it's it, it's just not for me. It's for some people, but it's just not not for me. I really like the lip gloss though, um, and I love the I have both the um the contour bronzer and a blush duo over here. Uh, I just love everything from Kaleidos. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, that was my ranking video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would please, please, pretty, pretty, please give me a like, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more from me. I try to upload at least one video a week. It's kind of tricky with my schedule and I'm a really, uh, I'm a beginner YouTuber. So, you know, give me a chance, subscribe. Um, I appreciate it and I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.